Were you surprised having uh, three kids in the business? Well, I'm happy to have the three, but you know, I'm often asked, well, if they didn't like it or if they didn't want to do it, would you be upset? Everybody thinks I'd be upset. I wouldn't be upset at all. I want them to do what's going to make them happy. I have two others that are too young to think in terms of the business, but uh, the three that are in the business really love it. Ivanka's done great, Don and Eric great, and uh, we'll see how. I mean, I hope in 10 years we'll be speaking and I'll tell you that it continues to be great, but maybe all of a sudden I won't be so happy, right? Talking about uh, setbacks, you went through that period. Rupert Murdoch uh, took a huge hit then. It was almost uh, on, the, on the ground. Larry Ellison. What did you, one, learn from it? And two, what have you taught your kids about uh, what you've been through? Life is not a straight line. Right. From my standpoint, and as your folks know very well here, uh, this is, even though we've had sort of a real estate meltdown, this has been a good time for me. I sold a house in Palm Beach for the highest, but we got $100 million for a house in Palm Beach, and Lehman Brothers happened the following week. So that's called good timing, right? <laughs> and I'm trying to buy the house back now for a much smaller price sort of interesting when you see some of the deals that happen this time. But I became much more conservative because friends of mine who were really good developers and others in real estate, and some enemies of mine, which I didn't mind, went bust. They were gone, never to be seen again. And, uh, you know, I'm, I've really become much more conservative in that standpoint. I did learn from the early 90s and the end of the 80s, but really it's like literally February of 1990. That was just like if a stock went down, you could see it in the real estate world. and. I sort of came up with a statement that your magazine wrote about, and it was survive till 95. I, I actually had that statement. I just felt if you could survive for that period of time, and it really happened. I mean, survive till 95, and those of us that survived till 95, which was about a four to five year stretch, ended up doing pretty well. And today my company is much bigger, much better than it ever has been in the past. But I think I've become much more conservative. We have a lot of cash. You I'm hate always, that. I, I don't sleep well because I have cash. I never had cash. I mean, I was always like a little <laughs> bit low on the cash because I'd make a deal. It would be a great deal. I'd make another deal, great deal. Then I'd take the profits from that and I'd have it spent before the money even came in. And that's okay too. The problem with that is that when things get bad, and they always do at some point, you're, you've got to fight too hard. And I don't want to do that. So what do you do about uh, succession? You have uh, three, three up-and-comers. Well, I do. And maybe five. Uh, I, I really have good children. The, your father, who is a friend of mine, who I thought the world of, the world of him. And he obviously did something right because you've kept it all going beautifully with the, with the so-called kids. Uh, <laughs> I have, I have um, a very tough, it's a very tough decision because you say, do you leave a bigger chunk to one? Do you break it up evenly? Do you do this? Do you do that? I think my inclination is to put, for instance, Eric loves the club business. We've really built a big club business, and it's been doing well. We're on the cover of a major club magazine that we're the most profitable one in the business now, and it's great. And we've done really well with it, and I like the business. It works for my personality. And Eric seems to love that business. And Don loves running buildings. He loves 40 Wall Street. He loves Trump Tower. He loves other buildings that we have. And I'm sort of thinking that if it keeps going like this, I can put one in charge of certain aspects. But it's very complex. In a way, it's the most complex thing. And you understand that through your family and, and your children and you know what's going to happen here and there. It's a very, very important decision and a very complex decision. And you and I have seen many fights over the years. And we've seen fights of you know individuals that are business people. And we've seen family fights. And I would say, and we could mention a couple of them, but I would say the most vicious fights I've ever seen, whether it's Coke or Milstein or this or that, the most vicious fights are those interfamily fights when it doesn't work. So it really is a very important decision as to what happens when we're gone.